Hi, I'm Irma, and today, huh? hold on a sec. Wow, look at this, nice. Do you wanna be as lucky as me? Subscribe to the channel then. Now, where was I? My family was so poor, we lived in a trailer instead of a house. We drove it all over the country because my parents were constantly looking for new ways to make a buck. For some reason, mom and dad liked that kind of life. They were always cheerful. Happiness is not about money. I didn't agree, and I was always ashamed of how poor we were. For as long as I can remember, I dreamed of wearing fashionable clothes and having my own room. So, that sucked. But at least I was pretty. Actually, my beauty was the reason I got into this mess. One day, we moved again. My parents were looking for new jobs, and I was getting used to the new school. To be honest, it wasn't easy. After all, all of my classmates came from rich families. I would have died of shame if any of them found out I lived in a tiny trailer. That's why I tried not to draw attention to myself. That didn't save me from bullies, though. There was this one cocky, handsome guy named Derek. Have you seen the new girl? She's so weird. What is she even wearing? Was there a sale at the dump? <laughs> Hearing that hurt, but I was used to it. Meanwhile, my mom got a job as a maid at a mansion. Its owners, Mr. and Mrs. Evans, had no children and owned a cosmetics company. Their life seemed like a movie to me. After all, Mr. and Mrs. Evans were beautiful, rich, and popular. One Saturday, my mom asked me to help her and she brought me to their mansion. I almost started drooling. It was so beautiful there. I would give anything to live here. Irma, don't be jealous of them. You don't know what secrets they might be hiding. She believed that there could be ugliness behind the beautiful facade of their lives. I didn't think much of her words. We got to cleaning, and mom accidentally <gasps> dropped a huge plasma oh. TV. Oh, it was a disaster. A creepy butler came running to the noise and called Mr. and Mrs. Evans when he saw the mess. We've only just bought this TV. It's worth a fortune. It costs more than you could earn in a lifetime. Mom turned white as snow, but that ruthless couple just kept shouting at her. After a while, they finally noticed me and abruptly stopped talking. Who is this adorable girl? This is my daughter Irma. Irma? You're so pretty. Mrs. Mm. Evans and her husband moved aside and whispered to each other for a long time, sneaking glances at me from time to time. Then they came back and offered us an unusual deal. As you know, we own a cosmetics company, and we need a model to promote our new line of makeup. They said they would forget about the broken TV if I pretended to be their daughter for a while and took part in several photo shoots with them. It seemed they really liked my appearance. Mom mm. was against it, but I was mm. over the moon. That that was my chance to feel like a real millionaire. I talked my mom into agreeing, and she hesitantly signed the contract. Great, your daughter will be staying here, and you're fired. I moved into that mansion the same day. They gave me a huge room with a wardrobe full of gorgeous outfits. Wow, our whole trailer is smaller than this wardrobe. I spent the next week feeling like I was living in a fairy tale. Mr. and Mrs. Evans took me shopping. We ate in expensive restaurants, took part in photo shoots to promote their new products, and enjoyed spa treatments in the evening. The coolest thing was that the butler did everything around the house. I didn't even make the bed. Things got better at school, too. I didn't feel self-conscious in my new clothes anymore and immediately became popular. Is it true that you live with the Evans? I love their makeup. Yeah, I do. We're, uh, related. After hearing that, Derek immediately hit on me. Irma, I didn't see it at first, but you are beautiful. Will you go out with me? We could go to your place. That pretty boy mm. underestimated me. I, of course, immediately realized that Derek was only interested in me because he thought I was rich. So I turned him down without any hesitation. Huh. I'm sorry, but I'm not into shallow morons. Being on top of the world felt amazing. However, being rich had its disadvantages. One day, Mr. and Mrs. Evans invited their rich friends over and pulled a mysterious bottle out of a safe. They said it was a beauty elixir, and they introduced me to the guests. This is our daughter, Lydia. Oh my god, she looks like a princess. Uh... Hey, my name is Irma, not Lydia. Don't worry your pretty head about it. She reminded me of my mother's debt, and she told me to shut my mouth. I had no choice but to obey. The guests kept giving me weird looks and whispering to each other. I felt uneasy, so I said I wasn't feeling well and I went to my room. To my surprise, all my clothes were scattered all over the floor. Hey, what the heck? At first, I thought one of the guests had done it, but that was just the beginning. When I walked into the bathroom, I saw a creepy message written on the mirror. Run! Irma. Huh. 
Oh, I didn't like that. I asked the butler what was going on, but the man turned white as a sheet and left without a word. The next morning, after all the guests had left, I told Mr. and Mrs. Evans about it. Their hmm. reaction surprised me. Sometimes inexplicable things happen in our house. Just ignore it. I wasn't satisfied with that answer, and soon I started spying on them. I managed to eavesdrop on a suspicious conversation. Mr. Evans took the butler aside and demanded he keep his mouth shut. Don't you dare tell Irma anything. I won't let you down. Well, well, that was curious. Maybe mom was right. This perfect couple did have something to hide after all. Luckily, nothing weird happened for a while after that. I forgot about the creepy words on the mirror and I just kept enjoying rolling in money. The longer I was there, the less I wanted to go back to our trailer. However, I still missed my parents and I often called them. Irma, are you all right? I had a bad dream. There's something wrong with that house. I'm fine, mom. We need to film a few more ads, but I'll come back home soon. I put my phone away because it was time to go to a photo shoot. I posed with Mr. and Mrs. Evans. We looked like a happy and successful family in the photos. Irma, you're stunning. Looks matter much more than anything else in life. You're going to be very rich. I can feel it. Yeah? My parents say that there's things more important than money. That's why they're so poor. I couldn't wait to see my face on the TV. But one day, I came home from school to see something terrible. There were torn photos of me strewn about the house. Jeez, who did this? The butler quickly cleaned everything up and acted like everything was fine, even though it was pretty obvious something weird was going on. Soon, things got worse. Much mm -hmm. worse. One night, I saw someone's silhouette creeping through my room. I thought I was dreaming, but the next morning, I discovered that all of my clothes in my closet had been cut up. The lights often flickered creepily, and I heard creaks and rustles. I wanted to know what being rich was like, but I ended up in some sort of horror movie. One day, I made a sandwich and turned away for just a second to pour myself some juice. When I turned back, my sandwich was gone. That became the last straw for me. I decided it was finally time to get to the bottom of it, and I cornered the butler. I know that you're hiding something. What's going on? It's none of your business, girl. I mean, I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, right? Like, I'd believe that. I kept bombarding the butler with questions every day, but he ran from me like a mouse from a cat every time. Curiosity killed the cat. Leave me alone. One day, the butler said he was sick, and he didn't come to work at all. He must have gotten tired of me. That evening, Mr. and Mrs. Evans said they had to leave for a couple of days for work. The thought of being alone in that weird house sent shivers down my spine. But I found a solution, and I decided to throw a party. I called my classmates, and I invited everyone to a pajama party. Well, almost everyone. I didn't want to see that jerk Derek at all. My classmates came over with chips and soda, and uh, I immediately felt better. Wow, sweet mansion! Irma, I didn't know you were richer than all of us. It was fun at first. We were messing around, playing board games and dancing. For the first time in my life, I felt like a real star. However, the party quickly turned into a nightmare. First, the power suddenly went out, and the house was plunged into darkness. Freaking hell! What's going on? Don't panic, guys. The lightning must have struck the power lines. I'll get us some candles. As soon as I said that, everyone heard the sound of breaking glass. We ran into the kitchen and saw that someone had thrown a stone through the window. Damn! I lit the candles, and we saw that someone had written into the mirrors again. Run, or something terrible will happen. Everyone was freaked out. My classmates didn't waste a single second, and they dashed out of the house. I don't like this. I'm leaving. Yeah, I'm out. They all left me alone there. I decided that I'd had enough, and I wanted to leave, too. But then I heard footsteps behind me. I turned around and saw, Derek, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, uh, this is embarrassing. I'm sorry I came uninvited, but I needed to tell you something. He confessed that he had been writing for the school paper, and he'd been trying to solve a mystery for years. The Evans used to have a daughter, but one day she disappeared without a trace and no one knows where she is. I've been trying to get into this mansion for a long time to find out the truth. That's why I was flirting with you. I think the house is haunted by the ghost of the Evans' daughter. <laughs> I didn't believe a word he said. Do you think I'm an idiot? You're just angry I turned you down and didn't invite you to the party. Did you come to ruin it? Admit it. I shouted at Derek for breaking the window and I chased him out of the house. What a jerk. I started looking for a vacuum cleaner to clean up the broken glass. Where was the storage room again? When I opened a door at random, 
I saw a closet full of children's clothes. Wait, had Derek been telling the truth? Had the Evans really had a daughter? I got curious. The next morning, I apologized to Derek at school and I told him that I wasn't actually related to the Evans. I'm just helping them promote their new beauty elixir. Derek wanted to know more about it, but I told them they kept the mysterious bottle in a safe that I couldn't open. Then let's team up and expose the Evans. Deal. After classes, we went back to the mansion to investigate and we saw the butler. He had apparently finally recovered and come back to work. He knows the truth, but he won't tell me anything. Let's follow him then. So that's what we did. We hid behind corners and furniture while the butler worked around the house. For a long time, he didn't do anything suspicious. However, in the evening, he put the dinner on the table, then looked around carefully and walked down one of the corridors. Then he pulled out a book from the shelf and a secret door opened in the wall. I could heartily believe my eyes. The butler went inside and we slipped in behind him. There was a bedroom behind the door. I saw a plump girl. Who are you? The butler and the girl realized that there was no more hiding and they finally told us the truth. I was lost for words. It turned out that girl's oh. name was Lydia and she was the Evans' daughter. My parents hid me for years because they thought I was too ugly. They were afraid my face would ruin the perfect reputation of their company. I could only hide in here. Lydia confessed that she was the one who scared me and ruined all my things because she wanted me to leave. How dare she? At first, I got mad and I almost started yelling at her. But then I realized that Lydia was just jealous because her parents chose me over her. Poor girl. Mr. and Mrs. Evans had convinced her that she didn't deserve love because she wasn't pretty enough. Lydia, my mom often says that ugliness hides behind a beautiful facade. Your parents may be beautiful, but they have ugly hearts. You're pretty and you shouldn't have to listen to them. Oh, uh, thank you. No one has ever said that to me before. Well, we've solved the mystery, Derek. That's when we all heard noises in the hallway. I went out of the hidden bedroom and I saw that Mr. and Mrs. Evans had come back home with some rich friends of theirs. Mr. Evans took the bottle out of the safe and his wife gently took my hand and introduced me to the uh -huh. guests. This is our daughter, Lydia. You might not recognize her. She used to be ugly. But thanks to this miracle remedy, Lydia transformed from an ugly caterpillar into a beautiful butterfly. That's when I realized what was going on. Those liars invented a new remedy and wanted to convince the investors it could make anyone beautiful. So they told everyone I was Lydia. It made my blood boil and I decided to expose their lies. Sorry, guys, but Mr. and Mrs. Evans are lying to you. I'm not their daughter. After that, the real Lydia came out of her room and I told the investors her parents had been forcing the girl to hide from everyone for many years. Derek and the butler confirmed my words. The investors were outraged and I decided it was time to get out of there. Let's go, Derek. Our job here is done. Uh, wait a minute. He hesitated a little bit, but then he hid something in his pocket and left with me. It was a huge scandal. Everyone was so outraged by what the Evans did, they shunned them. Their company soon went bankrupt with no investors. I moved back into our old cozy trailer. My parents had been right. Happiness wasn't about money, and beauty means nothing if you're ugly on the inside. I was happy to learn that Lydia stopped listening to her parents and made a lot of friends. My story didn't end there, though. One day, I accidentally bumped into Derek after school, and a familiar bottle fell out of his pocket. What the? So that's what he had hidden in his pocket that day? Did you steal the fake beauty elixir? But why? The truth is, I don't actually write for the school paper. My parents were competitors of the Evanses. When huh. mom and dad found out about their new miracle remedy, they asked me to get it. What? So you were just using me? I thought you were a good guy. I wanted to give you a chance. I am a good guy. Irma, I don't want to become a selfish jerk like the Evans or my parents. Please believe me. And with those words, he threw the bottle on the ground and crushed it with his foot. I don't want to play these games anymore. The adults should deal with their problems themselves. Um, so what was that about giving me a chance? Huh. Okay, let's go. I'll introduce you to my parents and show you around our trailer. You live in a trailer? Cool. I hope we're here to stay because I'm finally feeling good about myself again. And <laughs> I even made some friends. Still, if you see our trailer in your city, it means we moved again. <laughs>